Talking Fox 10 Arizona Morning with Ron Hood, Rick D'Amico, Andrea Robinson, Kristen Anderson, and Corey McCloskey in HD. Coming up. How about buying uh, a piece of fine art? Oh, now that huh? might be very romantic. How about that? That's where Corey is this morning. Corey is an artiste. Oh, Rick, if only. Don't you feel like when, when you Ooh. look at Hello works there, like these, think, well, where does <laughs> Look behind you. <laughs> Hello yeah, over there. Your this, is the, uh, this is the Beth McDonald collection. <laughs> You've probably seen it. It's been traveling. Uh, <laughs> but when you see works like this, you, I often think, how does, it, how does this germ of an idea spring out of these people's brains? I... You know, I could do some things, but boy, I sure can't uh, do what we're looking at today. But we're, we're here at the celebration, celebration of fine art, and uh, look who's here, Susan Boger, and uh, you're, whoa, you okay back there? We're doing a little double dutch with the cable. Um, thanks for 21 great years out well, here in Scottsdale. You. Thank well, you. We are so honored and excited to present this year's Celebration of Fine Art to the public. Well, I know you bring in literally dozens, perhaps, I don't know, how many artists altogether? J 98 this year. Wow, you're approaching that 100 mark. And uh, what what people may not realize is that you can actually watch the artists at work here. Absolutely. You can see the piece that you might eventually take home, right? Exactly. And people get to get up close and personal and find out what inspires the artist. And I... Everybody I talk to leaves here energized after they see what's going on here. And well, it's so fun. Well, let's uh, meet. This is Donna Bernstein. Donna, thank Hi, you so much. So you? nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, of course. Yeah, let's uh, head down and see what you're working on here. Uh, horses, you love them, obviously, right. and you I must have a lot of experience yeah. with them. Right, I do, and I have more experience painting them, actually, and imagining them than specifically working with them. <laughs> but uh, these these are the horses of my imagination now. Well, let's take a look around at uh, some of your work here, and you do work in several mediums. Um, this large piece that we're looking at, uh, what is what are we looking at right over here? This is a combination of acrylic paint, inks, and then various metallic paints as well. Mm -hmm. And, ha and this resin piece over here, let's take a closer look at this. This is fascinating to me. Yeah, this is something new that I've just started working with. It's a double process of resin, in mm -hmm. which case what happens is you'll, you'll pour the two pieces together. Mm -hmm. It's kind of heat emulsify. You only mm -hmm. have about seven or eight minutes to set up with it. But you can paint in it, you can paint on it. You can then go layer more on top of it. It gets very exciting. How very fun. Exciting. And I do love your scratch pad over here. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my pieces get very large, and what I like to do often is work on a cloth this, like this, where I can get a sense of the scale, uh -huh. what it's going to look like in the finished piece, and, it, and I often do 15 or 20 of these at a time, and oh, just roll God. them and paint them out. And All right, well, come out and meet Donna, and, uh, oh, look. Yes. Look at this rogues gallery of friends over here. Uh -huh. <laughs> All. Tell them We're to get so to work. to see them. What's that, Rick? Tell them to get to work. Oh, Rick says get to work. <laughs> You're not paid to stand around. It's not a murder scene. <laughs> we ought to put yellow tape up here or something, huh? <laughs> Rick, I'll get you back over those nudes you were talking okay, about. Very good. He's still salivating. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> wow, I didn't know it was going to be this exciting. <laughs> All right, Corey, thank you. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. A little more to the left. <laughs> really do I have that much facial hair man I knew I needed to shave <laughs> actually uh, oh. this is a painting we did a long time ago there at the celebration of fine art yeah. it was with Guadalupe Apodaca who uh, Show actually, off that picture. actually painted most of this, and I helped them with a few strokes. And our executive producer, uh, Mary Morse uh, Vasquez, has this actually hanging in her house as an as art. Yeah, and it's got my name on it. See, Rick D'Amico and Guadalupe. He let you sign it, even though you only did that one stroke <laughs> above his eyebrow. No, there were more. It was more than one stroke. <laughs> I'm all right? kidding. It looks really good. Yeah. So this is uh, when I was doing it with uh, back. Uh, with uh, Guadalupe. And that was and, at the Celebration of Fine yeah, Arts, right? In Scottsdale? Right, in Scottsdale. And Guadalupe, by the way, his paintings... <coughs> High dollar, right? Uh, yeah, thousands and thousands wow. of dollars. So Mary got a deal on this. Well, good, because she knew the artist, right? Yeah, she knew the artist. <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure out if you're going to bake bread or you're going to continue to paint with this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's where Corey is right now. The celebration of fine art. Susan, come with me. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey. Hey, you guys. 
Um, I wish you could all be out here because when they talk about a celebration of fine art, that is exactly what's happening here. And Susan, your, your artists, well, obviously, if they're from, say, Idaho or Nebraska, they must love coming to Scottsdale oh, in January, they're right? They're loving life right now because, especially the ones from further back east mm -hmm. where there's just being dumped on with snow. But yeah, the artists come down for the full 10 weeks. So people can come in and watch them at work every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. through March 27th and uh, find out why they love being here. Well, it's <laughs> I'm sure it's worth the trip. And they don't want to haul any of this stuff back, right? They're here to sell. Absolutely. Everything's available to purchase. And we have a great shipper that ships worldwide. So oh, that's something people should know, too. If in love with something, we'll find a way to get it to them, yeah. whether it's local or long distance. You don't have to be investing in a bunch of bubble wrap yourself oh, no. we have the bubble wrap very good now uh, can you give me give, just kind of tick off the the variety of media that folks are working in here okay well we have in, in painting we have acrylic oil watercolor we have sculpture done in bronze sculpture done in wood sculpture done in stone we have ceramic art mm -hmm. glass art um, hand woven baskets uh, we even have a new uh, a photographer this year that works in a oh, really? so Polaroid um, transition thing. So how interesting! Very new and unique to Arizona. Tiffany is a first-year artist mm -hmm. from Colorado, so she's enjoying our warm temperatures as well. Well, right over we here, the, jewelry. Uh, Let's not forget Oh, that's jewelry. right. We're going to see a little bit of that in a moment. Uh, I love the idea that you can come here and someone just vacated this spot, but you can watch them doing their work, and you can take home. And that must be even more exciting, I would think, if you can watch your piece being. Created. Uh, being created right yeah and actually that's one of the things that the clients really like mm -hmm. they get to build a relationship with the artists mm -hmm. and have them to dinner and become you know lifelong friends so yeah. this is our 21st year we've had some artists who've been here every year and then others who keep coming in new each year and the relationship factor here is really what makes it special no kidding well we're gonna head down the row here in a few minutes and get a look at a whole bunch of faces and uh, you can tell that these folks really do enjoy each other's company but again give us the nuts and bolts so uh, you're running till when and what does it cost to get in and how does it all work we're open every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. through March 27th mm -hmm. the ticket price is eight dollars and that's for a season pass but if people mention they saw it on Fox we're gonna give them two for one. Oh, nice two for one admission for a season pass Many people want to come back every day or, you know, a couple times a week and watch the transition and the, and the progress of the art. Yeah, well, I think so, my mom will be out. She uh, She's a watercolorist herself, well, and she, she really loves this uh, Southeast, this event. Southeast corner of Scottsdale Road and Mayo Boulevard. There you go. Easy to find. You can see it right off the, uh, the 101. So that'll do it for the moment. Uh, we'll see lots more beautiful art. And Rick... Boy, the, the the nudes are really starting to gather out here. <laughs> once you uh, once you made your wishes known, uh, we've got quite a collection uh, really? that we will tastefully yes. display for your enjoyment uh, here in a few minutes. Very okay. good.